All right, YouTube, I'm going to show you some of the progress on my first custom module for Unreal Engine 4's Cascade Path Call System Editor. Um, most of you are probably unaware that unless you dive really deep into visual effects in Unreal Engine, but there are a few modules that were present in Unreal Engine 3, um, but for whatever reason they've been taken out of Unreal Engine 4. Uh, I'm not entirely sure as to why that is. Maybe they didn't see a use for them or whatever, or maybe they were just forgotten about, but some were pretty useful. Um, obviously, thankfully, with Unreal Engine 4, we've got source code, so we haven't got to pester the developers to add all the new modules for us. We can just go ahead and do it ourselves. Um, I've got pretty much zero programming experience background, but I've run my head around the basics over the last few months, so I can kind of vaguely understand what's going on, and that's pretty much all you need. Uh, so this is one of the modules that was missing from Unreal Engine 4. Um, I've gone ahead and made it myself. I'll basically show you why I've done it and what it actually does. So I've got two emitters here. They're both exactly the same. Uh, all they're doing is bursting a few particles um, every couple of seconds. And you can see all the particles are velocity aligned down here. So they follow the direction of that the particles traveling in basically so you can have you know you can use this to simulate effects like sparks or shards of material or whatever you want and this size scale isn't actually doing anything all it's doing is just scaling things up so that they look fairly similar between the two particles and what you can see is happening as they get into the top of their arc of travel they're kind of spinning around uh, which is a pretty ugly effect. Can you imagine if you've got a nice pretty spark texture on this, this glowing and fizzing and doing all sorts of other stuff, you don't really want to see it do this and quickly spin around because that's not how a spark's going to behave. So what size by velocity lets you do is as it slows down, you can scale the entire sprite down and then as it picks up speed again, it will scale up. So you can see here, this is a pretty obvious effect. Now if we were to swap over... You can see as they get to the top, they kind of, oh, it's saving, so I'm lagging a bit, but they kind of slow down, and then as they speed up again, they get a little bit longer. So you can kind of see what that's doing. From far away, it looks pretty cool, actually. Just looks like things are appearing out of thin air. And the functionality isn't the same as what it was in Unreal Engine 3. At the moment, you can, you can do a velocity curve if you want to, but it's a little bit glitchy. I need to sort of rework the code a bit. Um, and these three buttons currently don't work, they're just completely ignored. Um, I'm going to have to write a few if statements in the C++ file to get them to work. Um, and also, as you can see here, obviously, they completely fade out until they're absolutely tiny and non-existent almost. Obviously, if their velocity is zero, then the size of the particle is going to be zero. Uh, so I'm going to add a cap min max size to this as well, just like the Unreal Engine 3 version had. I'll just go over the source code real quick. Just drag this in. This is the header file. It's pretty much identical to most of the other size um, module header files. It's some really simple stuff. These are just the um, radio buttons that you see here. So particle module size, this is where all of the size modules is C++ code is actually executed. So this is where all the functions exist for every module that uh, in the size category. So here you've got the initial size module and you scroll down a bit and you've got the seeded initial size and you've got size by life. There's a size scale here somewhere. Now size scale, you scroll down a little bit more and you get to size by speed. Now this is a GPU only um, module. So this won't actually execute on CPU particles. In fact, it doesn't even show up in the list. It's just removed completely. Uh, and this is the C++ for the size by velocity module. So it's pretty simple. The main functions to look at are the spawn module. Basically, I believe, I'm not entirely sure, but I'm pretty sure that this is a function that tells the particle what to do um, when it first spawns. So all I'm doing in this case is multiplying the size of the particle um, by the length of the velocity vector, which is which you get from here. And then 
the update function is what actually runs every frame and that's what how what actually updates the particle so again it's pretty much doing the same thing it just gets a float which is the length of the particle velocity and then every frame <coughs> uh, it just multiplies the size of the particle by the length of that velocity right there so it's really simple and it just does this little loop here every frame um, now it also works with constant curves so you get the particle relative time here this is where eventually I'm just going to add loads of if statements so you can you know change the behavior of what it does and um, change how it affects the x y and z size of the particle uh, depending on which radio boxes you check so that's a basic overview and that's basically all it does. I have absolutely no idea how to use GitHub. So if anybody wants to show me or leave a good tutorial in the comments section, um, I'll try and put this up as a pull request so that this can make it into a future build of the engine. Um, once it's finished, that is. Obviously, once I've done the cap, min and max size stuff down here. Um, I'm going to start experimenting with a couple of other modules as well. I want to do some kind of velocity noise module, which just gives you a little bit of noise. For your initial velocity i want to do some other stuff as well like size scale by time that's a missing module from unreal engine 3 as well i want to get that in there because that's really good for explosions and stuff um so yeah sweet